gosh. I'm not left-handed. Get down. Get down right now. I can't do it with my Get down. How far are we going down? So we're going to notch it underneath this board? That's why you're here. Okay, we don't have to notch it. No, we have to notch it because I need it to go above that board. I need <coughs> okay. Listen to me. I want it to go and hit that rafter, two by four, four by four. Well, one by four rafter. I'm going to hit the two underneath it. Well, it's a little here. You know. Can you all want to stop here like that? Yes. All right, give me a pencil. I got a pencil. Where do you want some cookie down here? Can you write on it? Where do you want the cookie? Down the bottom of the board? To the bottom of that? To the bottom of that two by two. Forty inches on this end. Forty. Okay. Thirty-four and three quarters. And you did measure to the bottom of the two by six. So Daniel measured up here on this corner and we're going to make the siding go up. It's going to go up behind this top board up here. You won't, you won't see the top of the siding. It'll be behind that rafter. So he's got a notch around this right here. He's got a notch around it for the siding to go up in there all the way. We've got two up, guys. He's measuring that last one. 
Let me bring y'all over here. You're on a tripod. Let me see if I can get it to. Okay, I can get it. Oh, shit. Okay, what is it? 28 inches wide. 28 wide. Okay, what is it? Don't fall. What? Nothing. What was this one right here? 46 and a quarter? Yes. This is going to do this. Okay, I'll unplug it and give it back and give it out to you in just a second. Just go ahead and get your measurement. Here. Why? Is it because everything coming together at that one corner? You're only going to go two here, and then I don't know what you're going to do back here. But I don't think it's going to go up underneath both of these like we're. Okay, so don't worry about that side. Just. Can we cut it? Oh. Dear me. Can we cut it past we that? 23 and a half. And, yeah. okay. Is that to the end of that? Two by six? 23 and a half is to right here. On this side of the board. Okay. And we can still go up underneath the stud? Here we can. I hope, yeah. I mean. We may be pushing it. This looks like it starts curving in. Yeah, it might have had a bow in it or something. Okay, so. I mean, look, look how close we are here to this, and down there we got how much room we got. Yeah, so. I don't think we're going to get underneath this another time. I think we're going to be hitting it about right here. This board's not running straight. Okay, I understand. So, what would you do? Just do what you would do, because. Oh, shit, I don't. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> okay. What about we just cut it at that angle of that two by four? Where it just comes up to it. Here? Yeah, and then later when I come back, I'll come back with a little piece of cedar trim and hide all the raw edge. You know what I mean? Yeah, just since we're not going to get back under it again anyway. What's your number? 42 and 3 quarters. All right, then 40. I got it. 40. 42 and 3 quarters. Yeah. So we're still going to knock this one. Yes. I would say. We're still doing the, what was it saying? This, you, you said 28, I thought, a while ago. Yeah, okay, so if you just cut it 28, and even though 28 will swing out past that two, go up there and measure 28 at the top two by six. Where does that come? Here. Past that. Right okay, so we can't we just do like I did out here on the front, do that little notch out of that whole two by six and go up as far as. Huh? Yeah. Okay. You tell me a number, I'll write it down. Four and a half. Yes. That's this way. And eight. Eight inches down. Okay. Work. Wait, did we get the measurement for the up and down on the end? Oh yeah, is that 20, <coughs> that's 42 and whatever, and then 20 some, what do you have over there? That should be higher. You uh, have 40. I on the end. Forty-five and three quarter. Forty-five and three quarter. <coughs> 
All right, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to do this. Give us a second. That's what you already had, except you didn't have the two and three quarter measurement. All right, so what am I doing? Coming over what? You're going eight down, and you're going over to two and three quarter and making a mark. Then you're going over four and a half and making a mark, and you're going to cut that hole two and a half inches out. I mean, one and a half inch out. All right. Plus, it's got to butt up inside of that other board. I'm going to show them what we're doing while you're doing that. Okay. Where the two porches join, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on up here. So, Daniel says, I'm not going to be able to... This one, these boards, went up underneath this rafter and touched the metal or... It actually touched the one by fours that are the lads. Okay. Over here, we can't do that because this rafter from the first porch is causing it to set off some. And he says there's a bow or something in this one. It's got a, you can see how wide it is down there, but it gets real narrow down here. So it's got a bow in it or something. So what we're doing is we're cutting this the width that we need. Right. We didn't cut it the width we need. Daniel, stop. We didn't cut it the width we needed. What? We gotta cut it 28 inches and then take your notching out. Oh, golly. Yeah, you're right. It's well, up. That means this angle ain't right. No, your angle is... You measured from this corner to this over here and got those two measurements. So, I cut this 28 inches. This is not going to be the 45 and whatever that I need. Let's see what it is. I know it ain't. Well, let's just see how bad it is. Let's just see. And then the other edge is 45 and three quarters. What do you see? You hear a bunch of noise up there. Okay. Let's okay. 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 Okay.
see. What we did wrong over here, we weren't thinking when we were doing. This needed to be from, from this side out to the end of these two by sixes needed to be 28. We didn't cut it 28. We left it the full four foot wide and made our mark already. So now when you trim it back down to 28, it only came to 42 and something he said. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it at 28 and see how it fits up in there before I go and cut a whole nother board. I hate to engage a whole nother board if I can get this up there and possibly, I'm still gonna trim all this out with cedar. Maybe it won't be so bad. I'm gonna pray it's not gonna be so bad. Not like we don't have spotty here for me to get. It's not going to be eight now. What is this guy? It's tall. It is tall. It's not 28 wide, it's only 22. Or whatever, 48 is there. It's not 48. Well, the thing is, my uh, notch is going to change now. You may not even have the notch. No, it's going to be down underneath that board. It's going to be down that part. Instead of eight inches, I'm going to do it to shy. It's going to be like a six inch notch. Well, then, so the whole thing still works. Yes? Put it up. Let's put it up there. Okay, put it up there. Put the notch but we can put it up and see where it's going to get at the notch. You got your pencil? So you can make a mark even while you're up there? I think it's going to work, yes. Jesus, let it work. Jesus, let it work. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, it's going to work. I can tell already. All right, let me ask a question. What? Right. Typical question. Biblical, okay. Yeah. When we do things wrong, mm -hmm. and we know we've done something wrong. Yes. Like the way we cut this board. Uh, is it okay to still come over and pray that Jesus please make it fit, even though we know that the measurements are wrong? Can we, can we do no, that? Because they, Jesus can take anything bad and make it right. No, I know he can, but is like, I know he can. Or is he going to so, say, hey, you need to learn from your mistake here. He's going to say, you learned before you done it, but you already made your cut, so I'm going to help you out. Okay. All right. That's what I think he's going to, that's what I think he's saying. Okay. Hey, I'm going to tell you something else. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Look at that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I was going to say something that even if that has to go up and go up a little past the bottom down here, that whole thing's going to have a trim down it. So it could go up a little higher if we needed it to. The two by six right here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? Alright, he's taking five and a half inches to notch so the board will, the, this siding will sort of be cut like that, open a little bit, and it'll go up and through that knot, through that two by six right there, sort of like that. Here he comes. You say for the record that if this works, well, first of all, I don't doubt God. I never doubt God. Never in my life, ever. But if this works, the next time I need a miracle, you're praying. <laughs> and if it don't happen then, there's going to be trouble. It's going to work. I hope it does. I already said it's going to work, even if it comes up a little higher at the bottom, as long as we don't go high enough for trim. Look at that. <laughs> yes. Okay. You, got, you don't have a drill either. Where'd you get your drill? 
Where'd you pick your drill? Right here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, buddy. You're going to put a piece of trim here. Yes, trim goes all the way around the wire to keep the wire secure. So. Where's my drill? I got a tip in my pocket. Praise God. Praise God. Oh, Kim may be, have her. Oh, Kim may have a direct line to God somehow. I don't know. I've never known her to be that spiritual. But uh, she don't hear me talking right now. She don't know what I'm saying. She's going to hear this later on the video. What are you saying? You'll have to hear it later on the video. Normally... Normally, she's a sinner. After the wire gets... She must have went to church today and prayed really hard and asked for forgiveness of all of her sins. Can you see it? <laughs> she still don't hear me. Yeah, it's going to be good. See, <coughs> you shouldn't doubt doubting Thomas. No, I'm, I'm not. I don't doubt God. I doubt Kim. <laughs> hey, little goat, come here. Come here, you little long-haired goat, long-haired goat. Her ears are curly. Y'all think this goat right here is as cute as as Brett or A. A. Ron? Oh, or? they know that little girl is cute. They've watched girl, her pounce and bounce. You, they think this little girl's cuter than uh, Dolly? They better. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go. Daniel, help me get this done. Now he's got to go home and bake some minced meat pies. Minced meat pies. All right. Thank you. I'm gonna put some staples back in the top of that wire. And I don't want to waste my cedar on this back side of the house. So as much as I'd love to just go ahead and finish it right now and hide that little place where we had to go further up because we cut the top, we cut that board wrong at first. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna finish this video out with it like it is. Uh, I'm gonna throw the staples in it to hold it up because it's pop, you know, I popped them all out so we could put that siding in. But y'all can see now what I meant about this, the wire being on the outside of the siding. Now I'll put the cedar up, I mean, I'll put the trim up and if anything ever happens to that wire, it gets bent or something tears it or breaks it or something, I don't know, anything could happen to the wire. Then all I have to do is take the, the trim down and replace the wire and then put the trim back. But if I had put it under the siding, then that would be a whole nother story. That would be, you know, messed up. In fact, I may, cause I have some little strips, put a strip there so it stays even, put a little strip of siding right there in that spot. So it stays even uh, when I put the side, when I put the trim up. I mean, let me check that out real quick. So if I have a piece, that one, cut it. And it's the right edge. It's the overlapping edge right down here. So it's going to be perfect. Now you, you can just barely tell that that was shorter. But I didn't really have to do that. I just wanted to make sure that when I put the trim up, it stays 
flat and doesn't have an indention there. But I'm gonna put some staples in that top. I'm gonna cut the overhang off over here. And then the only thing that I will do, um, because I don't think I have any one by fours in my shop. I'm gonna go look, but I don't think I do. But I only need, I'm gonna have to get 12s, I guess. I had to get 12s of these, even though we cut some off, because it's actually longer than 10. So it, it, I think the original structure was 10 wide by however long I went, but when you start adding, I, I think it's long, let me get the tape. Board. I'll have to buy, and the boards only come in like 8, 10, 12, sometimes you can get a 14, 16, usually, you, sometimes you get an 18, most of the time it jumps up to 20, so I'll just get, um, I'll get two, I'll get two, <laughs> You know what? No, I can't. Yeah. I will get two 12 foot one by fours. And then I will get an eight foot one by four because I've got to trim this end down here. And that's a, a one by, that's four inches or three and a half. And that one down there at that corner where that piece of trim is leaned up at, that's going to be a one by four trim. But these two that cover the wire in the center of these two by sixes, that's gonna have to be a one by six. And uh, so that's what I'll pick up the next time I go to town. And then this will be finished and trimmed and it's gonna be pretty. And um, so I love y'all and I will see you later. And when we come back, I will have this side trimmed and that side over there finished. And we will be off to the races with no cats and chickens on the deck. All right, love y'all. Bye.